Hello everyone, we were solving the Gate Aerospace 2024 paper. This question is from the Orbital Mechanics part. This question is question number 17 in the question paper. This is faculty advisor from the JNF Academy. The question says, which of the following statements is or are correct about the satellite moving in a geostationary orbit? This is MSQ question. It is talking about the geostationary orbit. Let us draw, let us consider this as Earth. And let this be an orbit, geostationary orbit. Let this be orbit, this be Earth. Option A says the time period of motion is 90 minutes. No, it's not correct. Option A is not correct. How much time period is? Time period is about 23 hours 56 minutes. Option B says the satellite is visible from all part of the earth. No, it is not visible from the all part of the earth. The orbit is circular about the center of the earth. Yes, that can be possible. So this is correct. The orbit lies in the equatorial plane. Yes, we can see from the figure. So option D is also correct. So option C and option D are correct. Question is question number 18 in the question paper. This question is from the stability part. What is this question says? In a conventional configuration airplane, the rudder can be used. Basically, it is asking the uses of the rudder. Option A says for a landing airplane in crosswind condition, definitely to maintain the alignment with the runway during the crosswind, rudder will be useful. Option A is correct. Option B says to overcome the adverse yaw during the turning maneuver. When an airplane is banked to execute a turning maneuver, Rudder will be useful there. Option B is also correct. Option C says to overcome the yawing moment due to failure of one engine in a multi-engine airplane. Basically, it is asymmetric powering condition. In asymmetric powering condition, rudder will be very much useful there. So, option D is for enhancing the longitudinal stability. No, the rudder will not have any impact or any effect in enhancing the longitudinal stability. This is not the correct answer. Correct answer for these questions are a B and C hello everyone this question is from the orbital mechanics part which says consider an artificial satellite moving around the moon in an elliptical orbit let us draw a moon and an elliptical orbit about which the satellite is moving the altitude of the satellite from the moon surface at perigee is the perigee distance is how much it is given from the moon surface 25 kilometer and to that of apogee is 134 kilometer assume moon to be spherical with a radius of the moon as 1737 kilometer the trajectory consider with reference to the coordinate system fixed at the center of the moon mass of the moon the ratio of speed of satellite at perigee to that of at apogee is this is asking we know from the conservation of momentum mvr is equal to constant that is m speed at perigee r at perigee mass speed at apogee r at apogee since mass is same we can find vp by v as ra by rp what is this r and rp this r is nothing but the distance from the center at perigee and apogee this is rp this distance is ra so what is ra 1737 plus 134 which is r is nothing but 1871 Similarly, RP 1737 plus 25. That is, this is kilometer. Again, RP is this would be 1762 kilometer. Just substitute and get the answer 1871 divided by 1762. If you do this, you will get answer as 
1.06 this is the answer for this question this question is from the stability part that to from the dynamic stability part the question says for a general aviation airplane one of the complex conjugate pair of eigen values for longitudinal dynamics is given the root of the longitudinal equation longitudinal dynamics is given that is minus 0.039 plus or minus 0.0567 i generally we write this as lambda 1 comma 2 eta plus or minus i omega if the system is disturbed to excite only this mode the time taken for the amplitude of response to become half in magnitude is from this equation we can write eta as minus 0 0.039 and omega as 0 0.0567 we have derived in the class that time to half the amplitude that is t half is equal to minus 0 0.693 divided by eta similarly for time to double the amplitude would be 0 0.693 divided by eta we need to find t half that is minus 0 0.693 divided by eta is how much minus 0 0.039 if you divide this you will get 17.76 second as the answer T half is 17.76 second. This is the answer for this question. Hello. The question is 44th in the question paper. The question says, at a point in the trajectory of an unpowered space vehicle moving about the earth. The space vehicle is there which is moving about the earth. Let us consider this as earth. This is center of the earth. There is some space vehicle moving about the earth. Okay. Uh, which is at an altitude of 600 kilometer with a speed reference to the coordinate system fixed to the center of mass of earth this is co coordinate system fixed to the center of mass the speed is given as 9 kilometer per second assuming that the earth is sphere the radius of the earth is also given that is r is equal to 6400 kilometer and what else is given a gravitational constant is given and the product of mass into gravitational constant that is gm this is very important to remember this value we told you in the class that is 3.98 into 10 power 14 meter cube per second this is exactly similar problem we have solved in the class see what is asked it is asked to find the trajectory trajectory find can be find from the eccentricity and by finding the total energy concept orbital energy concept which is nothing but to orbital energy is total energy per unit mass this can be written as et v square by 2 minus gm upon r what is this r this r is nothing but radius of the r plus altitude this r can be found as radius of the earth is 6400 kilometer plus altitude is 600 kilometer this r is turning out to be 7000 kilometer if total energy is coming out to be less than zero then the path would be trajectory would be ellipse if it is equal to zero then path would be parabola if et is greater than is then the path is hyperbola okay let us solve this now et is nothing but v square what is the velocity given velocity is 9 into 10 power 3 square divided by 2 minus this gm is nothing but 3.98 into 10 power 14 divided by 7000 into 10 power 3. If you solve this, you will get this value as 40.5 into 10 power 6 minus this value as 56.85 into 10 power 6. If you take 10 power 6 as common, you will get 40.5 minus 56.85. You don't have to solve further since you, you are going to know that this value is obviously coming out to be less than zero because some larger number has negative value, smaller number has positive value. You will definitely get some value which is less than zero. Then which path it is, which trajectory? If it is less than zero, this trajectory would be ellipse. The answer to this question is ellipse. Hello. This question is from the stability part. 
which says for an airplane having directional or weathercock static stability which of the following options is or correct this means this question already says this aircraft is directionally stable that is it must generate a positive moment when it is disturbed with positive beta this should be the graph it should follow for a directional static stability let us go with the options for an airplane when disturbed in your return to equilibrium state in a finite amount of time after removing the disturbance this is this option is correct because if my aircraft is having the static stability it must have initial tendency to come back to its original position after being disturbed since this is in the question it says this aircraft is having the directional static stability it will come back to its original position the option 2 says one aeration of yawing moment coefficient with side slip angle beta for an airplane will look like see this also is correct this is for for airplane to have a positive beta it should generate a positive moment if it is directionally stable directionally statically stable the option c says an airplane when disturbed in yaw from the equilibrium state will experience the restoring moment since it has a static stability it will definitely experience the restoring moment the option d says an airplane will always tend to point in the relative direction this is also correct so for this question all the answers a b c and d are correct to know about more such concept contact jnf academy thank you